All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. I am super excited for the product that we have before us today. This is like take 150, so I hope this is a good one. We have before us the Spec Ops Combat Master Utility Knife Sheath. Made in the USA, as you can see, holds up to, as they claim, any six inch knife and this is an awesome product and that I believe if you are a knife guy like me and you purchase a bunch of knives you know I have so many different knives that you guys see here on this channel you know some of them I keep for my own personal use after you know I use them and test them and I really love them some of them I pass on hand off you know sell is used whatever uh, but so many knives go through my hands but there are a lot that are my personal ones that I love they're great, durable, heavy-duty knives, but the sheaths were just a total afterthought, totally bogus, junk, and just are, are really lacking in a lot of ways. A uh, perfect example would be uh, Ontario Knife Company. You know, I love almost all their knives, but their sheaths are junk. I mean, just really bogus, barely hold the knives in there, uh, and just really regrettable. So uh, this, I believe, is going to remedy for you guys out there who have multiple fixed blades, this is going to remedy the problem of getting crappy sheaths because what ends up happening is we try and find you know either like a custom kydex and we're going to spend forty dollars per knife you know on top of the knife for a custom made sheath or we're going to make our own kydex sheath or we're going to try and find you know a nylon sheath like what we have have here before us and it's really hard ballparking it is that going to fit my knife I don't know you know and it's it's just a pain in the butt so I believe this is going to fix all of our problems. Let's go ahead and check it out here. What we got before us, I'll give you the specs and I'll show you a bunch of different knives that this can hold. Right here, you got a really heavy duty nylon, triple stitched, really good quality. Got right here in front of us a pocket made with a huge strip of Velcro. Really nice big pocket in here. You can see really deep. It's about five inches overall, so you can get a full-size Leatherman Wave or one of the bigger, larger uh, Surge, Leatherman Surge in there, or a large sharpening stone or some sort of sharpening kit, a flashlight, a lot of different stuff you can get in there. I would have liked to see it maybe stretch a little bit more. I mean, that is as wide as it goes, but uh, that's a nice feature, and you can you know kind of make it bigger if it was a larger you know flashlight or something like that. You can loop it over, or if you just want it out of the way, you can Velcro it nice and slim. Boom. All right, moving on here to the whole, this is what's just so awesome about this knife. This is a plastic, you know, Kydex type of insert. And what's awesome is that the mouth kind of rolls in like this. So it's tight in close and opens up wide. So you can put your knife in easy and it flexes to either wider or narrower blades, which is awesome and kind of helps retain the knife. And what's sweet is you can see down here, it has a flathead screwdriver you unscrew that little bolt right there, and this plastic insert comes out completely. There's no glue or anything keeping it in there. You just pull it straight out so that either you can clean it if there's some gunk in there, or if you wanted to make it completely form-fitting and really custom to a particular knife, you know, you bought a Bussy or you know you bought a GOS or some really you know custom-made or semi-custom knife that you just want a really good sheath for and it didn't come with the sheath or the sheath you got was junk and you want to custom mold it, you just pull that molding out, you unscrew the screw, put it in some boiling water, kind of make it pliable, and then you mash it and form it to the knife that you have, and then you just slide it right back in, screw it back into place, boom, you got your custom molded sheath insert. So that is awesome feature that they came up with there, uh, just mind blowing. Then you have here this nice strong button with this Velcro lashing so you can adjust it to all different size handles, if the handle's small or big or large or medium, it's gonna fit really well. Then you got these nice nylon loops with another set of paracord right here so it is it is jump ready this is jump certified so it's got three uh, retention points if you needed it to then on the back here you got their split loop design so you can put it on your belt it's got velcro and a button on your belt without taking your belt off or you can weave it through molly this is the perfect size to fit through molly if you want it on a molly vest or pack which is sick then on the back here you have these nice grommets with this 550 paracord it is 550 paracord with some more loop lashings in here and what you can do is you can lash this to your pack or vest and then you just un unweave this paracord and then weave it through your molly and through the sheath here and then uh, tighten it tight with this little uh, extension piece right here and boom you got yourself an awesome good setup for uh, lashing it to a pack and then you got this other little loop right here and you can wrap it around your leg or do whatever you would need to do with that. Uh, so that's the sheath itself. Awesome design, very strong, durable. Now, for the knives that this baby can hold. 
I'm just going to give you some examples here. Uh, you know, I got my Becker BK2 uh, with the glass reinforced nylon sheath, which is bad because it's going to dull the edge really badly. So what's awesome is that you can fit this baby in here nice and tight. You can see it's not sliding out. Even when I shake it, the blade's not coming out. And then, boom, you adjust it. Okay, that's too tight. I need to adjust this thing. You Velcro it out a little bit further. Boom, there you go. Don't mind that. Just some coffee blowing up in the background. Boom, you got that nice and tight. That sucker is not coming out. I'm pulling really hard. That knife is not coming out. That is awesome. Really nice, good retention. Now, the BK2... You can see there, the edge is almost up against the plastic. It's not going to dull it. You, know, you don't have to worry about that. But this is about as wide as you can go. This is a quarter inch spine. So that's about as thick as it'll go to. You might be able to get a slightly thicker knife. I've never seen one that was thicker than a quarter inch. But if you happen to, maybe you got a Topps knife or something like that that was really super thick. It, the width, it could fit that. But this, this way, the blade length this way, is one inch and three quarters. And that's about max. You can't really get a, a wider knife than that. So uh, that's the width dimensions for this insert. But your BK K2, boom, that'll fit in there. Then maybe, let's say, you bought this year, whoosh, the new to the market, 2013, the Buck Reaper. It's got a very unique design. A lot of sheaths probably wouldn't be able to handle it. You know, it's kind of got a recurve. It's got a six-inch blade, really big. But the thing is, great knife. I love that knife. The sheath is pretty much bogus. I don't really care for it. You know, it's, it does the job, but just barely, really cheaply made. Probably going to fall apart on me pretty quick. Well, I got this Spec Ops right here boom slide it into place velcro button boom i'm good to go that's holding it in there nice and strong the blade's not coming out i can't see the blade i'm not going to cut myself the knife is not going to fall out and it's going to hold that great a six inch knife right there boom it's going to hold that as well as my bk2 and you can just see the differences in the blades i mean look at how much more massive that bk2 is than that reaper awesome Let's go on here to maybe you have, again, here's a perfect example. I love this knife, an Ontario TAC 1. Great four and a half inch blade. I love the knife. The sheath is bogus. So I'm going to slide this in here. You can see there is some blade play, and I can wiggle it all around. But what's awesome is that I can adjust this handle, and I'm going to be able to Velcro this and get this super tight. Boom. Look at that. Mmm. Not coming out now, the edge isn't showing, and uh, it's going to hold that knife fantastically well. Maybe your Rat 5 that you bought, your Afghan Bush, uh, you know, um, your, what would be another great knife that would fit in here that Ontario does? You know, um, an RD6 or an RD Bush 6. Uh, you know, those type of knives are going to fit in there, and this this sheath is going to hold it and do a great job for you. Finally, this is the smallest one. I really wouldn't go any smaller than this. This is a SOG. Uh, Seal Pup Elite, so it has a 3 16 inch spine, uh, but got a 5 inch blade, the really thin small handle, this is you know, a great knife by SOG, uh, this, not, this sheath really isn't designed for that, you can see how big, I mean this is just all in there, I mean it's going to fall right out, but if I had to, you know it's got that retention strap, boom, I can adjust it, and I can even tighten it a little bit more, I'm not going to go into that again, but you can see there I could Velcro it even a little tighter so that at least the edge wouldn't be showing. So if for some reason I didn't like the sheath that I bought or I bought one that didn't have the sheath or I lost it, whatever, this would even hold a SOG seal pup. So that's pretty awesome that this Spec uh, Ops sheath can hold everything from a little SOG seal pup all the way up to a Becker BK2 5 incher or you know a Buck Reaper. This will fit an SE6. Uh, you know, an SE5, almost all the Ontarios, uh, just different knives. Another example, I won't go through it, but a Buck, uh, Buck Tops Nighthawk fits in there great. Uh, and that's what's just awesome about this blade. So this is my recommendation to you. Uh, because, you know, I have all these knives and about half of those that I have, I mean, these are my personal knives right here. BK2, the Reaper, and the TAC-1. So I, all three of those knives basically have crappy sheaths. So instead of me trying to build Kydex ones or buy custom ones, I bought this one sheath that will hold all three of those knives, the TAC-1, the Reaper, and the BK-2. That's what's awesome about this great American-made sheath, in my opinion. you got one sheath platform to hold multiple knives. Now, the last thing, again, this will hold all the way up to a 6-inch. Uh, if you have a bigger knife than that, they do make another model that will hold up to an 8-inch knife. So all your BK7s, you know, your uh, military K-bars, utility knives, uh, your Rat 7s, you know, the, your RD7, uh, Bussies, 
uh, swamp rats, all those different types of knives are going to be able to fit in here for your needs. And it's just going to be a hold a plethora of blades. So again, this is the Spec Ops Master Combat Short Utility Knife Sheath. That is what we're looking at here today. I highly recommend it for all you guys out there. I believe it will help all of you in one way or another. So thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.